in today's video, we're going to look at using the right, left, and mid functions in Excel. These three functions are functions that you could be asked to perform if you're looking to take the Excel 2019 exam. Let's go ahead and begin by looking at the right function. I'm going to put my cursor in I5. And what we're going to do with each of these functions is we're going to look at the E column, which contains social security numbers. And we're going to use each of these functions to dissect this and pull specific sets of numbers. With the right function, we're going to look at extracting the last four numbers found in this cell. For this, you could manually hand key in this function, but I want to encourage you to use the function builder on the certification exam when you can. Because if you get stuck, there are built in helps that could help you get through the function if you start to miskey something. So we'll click insert function. The function that we want to use is right. So we'll type that in. The right function returns the specified number of characters from the end of a text string. We'll click OK. And let's go ahead and drag this box down so that we can see all of the data. Our text here is going to be E5 because we're looking for Holly's social. I'm going to hit tab. The number of characters is how many characters we want to extract. For this, we want to extract the last four numbers. So we're going to type in four. And notice it's going to pull the numbers six, seven, eight, nine from this number. That's exactly what we want. So we'll click OK. Because this is a relative reference, we can click and drag this using the autofill or the drag fill to pull the remaining employees last four digits of their social. Let's go ahead and look at using the left function, which is the opposite. It's going to pull it from the left side with our cursor in J5. We'll click insert function. I'll type in left. The left function returns the specified number of characters from the start of a text string. We'll click OK. Our text again is going to be E5. I'll hit tab. And this time it's asking the number of characters that we want to extract are the first three. So we're going to type in three. And we'll click OK. And it pulls the number one, two, three. That's exactly what we want. So again, we're going to use drag fill to copy that to the other employees. And let's look at using the mid function because it's just a little bit different. What we're going to do for this is pull the middle two numbers. Our cursor is in K5. We're going to click on insert function. This time we'll type in mid. The mid function returns the characters from the middle of a text string given a starting position and length. That's exactly what we want. So we'll click OK. Our text is going to be E5 again. Our start number is the position of the first character you want to extract. And it says the first character in text is 1. So let's go ahead and count in the social. 1, 2, 3. The hyphen is 4. The number 4 is the fifth number. That's where we want to start. So we're going to type in the number 5. And then our number of characters is going to be how many numbers we want to extract starting at that fifth position. We just want those two numbers, so we'll type 2, and we'll click OK. The 45 number is what we want, so we'll click and drag that down. For this example, we've only used numbers to extract from, but you can use text as well. Let me go ahead and show you something else using the left function. This is a fantasy football draft sheet that is similar to the one I used when I draft at the beginning of the football season. If we look to the E column, we can see that there's a position and at the end of the position abbreviation, there's a number. That number identifies where that player ranked in that position. When I'm drafting, I don't care about that information because I also have the rank and that helps me identify what I'm looking at. When I pull this data, I use the left function to extract just the position and we're going to look at doing that. I'm going to put my cursor in F2. We'll click insert function. For this, we're going to choose the left and we'll click OK. Our text is going to be E2. And the number of characters from the left that we want to extract is 2. And notice only the RB for running back is going to display. And that's exactly what we want. We'll click OK. And we'll use drag fill to copy that through the entire list. And I just double clicked on that to use the drag fill instead of clicking and dragging down. There is a problem with this, though, and I'll show you what it is. If I click the filter, notice that my kicker, the abbreviation is just one letter. And what it's doing is pulling a number along with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to alter the formula for just those cells. I'm going to unselect the positions that are not kicker. Quarterback, running back, tight end, wide receiver. And I have just the kicker selected. Or click OK. I'm going to put my cursor in F179. And in my function, I'm just going to change this 2 to a 1 and hit enter. And notice it fixed that. 
I went to the formula bar to edit that, but with my cursor in there, if I click insert function, I get that dialog box that we used before. It's up to you and how you would want to do this. And now that I fixed that, I can use the drag fill to fix the remaining kickers. Hopefully you can use these functions not only to help you on the exam, but in your everyday personal Excel usage. Mm -hmm.